Okay, this can be a quick video. I had Matthew Carmen from Visual Momentum on last week and we discuss e-commerce and how we can use a Power BI dashboard to review data from, let's say, your e-commerce CRM systems or ERP systems. So after we talked, I went onto the FRED uh, website and I looked up how e-commerce is faring um, during this pandemic. And you can see there on the right, um, it is just taken off. The other thing I wanted to look at was retail sales um, and statistics. Uh, there was a huge dip for retail sales overall, but you can see it's kind of back now to the, the general area that, where it was before. But this doesn't represent all of the retail sales. So I would, wanted to just show this one too is, you know, clothing um, is lumped into retail sales, but you can see it's, it's dipped and it hasn't recovered. And I've heard some stories in the industry that um, there are some stores that aren't stocking certain items, um, you know, fashion clothing items, just because the recovery isn't back. All right, so now we're going to go quickly into Matthew Carmen's um, review of his overall dashboard. And he wants to demo and kind of demonstrate his live dashboards. Um, they're on his website. So if you go to visualmomentum.com, you can try out any of his dashboards. The other thing is he adds time intelligence, which is a big advantage over Excel. I, I believe it's really, really difficult, but in Power BI, you just add a calendar table and then you can start doing year over year and month over month type stuff. Um, Matthew does talk about data refreshes. He refreshes this data set every night, but you can schedule um, up to eight times a day. And there are some options for real time data being imported into your dashboards in Power BI. There are multiple data sources. That's one of the huge you know, advantages of Power BI is you can connect to your ERP, your CRM, if you have separate MRP, um, any, any different database, any type of tracking system, you can now tie it into Power BI and it just wraps the data all together in a single dashboard if you want to. And then, you know, he talks about too, what's amazing is you can compare to uh, budget data um, and then, you know, update that in a spreadsheet and that pulls it into your Power BI dashboard and um, the dashboard is automatically updated with the budget data. So if anybody wants to go follow any of this or see these, these live dashboards, right, they're working uh, visual momentum with a Z dot com slash demo. But the first one is actuals versus budget over year. And you've got some of the ads, impressions, clicks and costs. Quickly scroll over the second one, which is the product line and profits and, and margins for each product. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have a, I think, an inventory chart. So demonstration of, of the dream that I have. Um, and I, it's a challenge, I know, uh, in many other companies that I've been to have kind of this high level executive overview of saying, okay, if I want to understand what are my customers, you know, what's my revenue orders, units and margin all up, right? Yeah. I'm an exec. Just give me these high level ones. Uh, how does this compare to last year? What about the year before that? And uh, Power BI gives you just really that flexibility to zoom in, zoom out of those questions to, you know, quickly get the answers. And you have all this information in different locations. And a lot of the challenge for medium sized companies is to tie it together. And they don't necessarily have the resources to go tie it. And so you have people that are doing it manually or um, this is my all up dashboard. I sign in every morning. This data is refreshed every night and I can kind of poke around. There's no, there's no harm in doing any of this uh, investigation. The, the top uh, left quadrant, the customers, right? Where it's revenue orders, units and margins. Uh, yeah. This would be likely pulling from your ERP system, uh, your SAP or your Oracle, right? What is my sales revenue, right? How, how much have I actually shipped and booked um, e-commerce? There, there's there's a lot of a lot of orders that can be placed. That doesn't mean it's always booked, right? Booked. Mm. The difference could be fraud. Um, it could yeah. be people canceling their orders, etc. So, this would come from your source of truth of your ERP of saying yes, this this item has been booked, shipped. And the dotted line is your budget. What did you say your budget was for 2020? And yeah. now your budget could be revised throughout the year. And you know, I've I've seen the pain of revising budgets, 
right? But but it, it's it's beautiful here because this could be your budget line could be uh, curved every month or every quarter just by an Excel spreadsheet, yeah. right? And so you just revise the spreadsheet. This pulls in that number and then it compares it to the number that's coming from your SAP database. 